Welcome to a stale sausage roll and an empty crisp cupboard. I was just going through the comments on one of the recent videos that I had made about where to find your STLs. STL stands for Standard Tessellation Language. This is the long word for 3D models that you stick in your 3D printer and print. And in that video, I went over a couple of models I thought that you should have a look at. And in this video, we're gonna go over a couple that we missed. But just to make sure that you understand that this video and that video work linked together, I'm gonna sit on my chair like this so you know that those were the same video. So kicking off this video, we're gonna start off with Dosis 3D. Dosis has been featured before on a larger channel called Uncle Jesse. So by featuring him, it's probably not gonna do much more on a small channel like mine. However, I feel like you should have a look at this guy's work. Unfortunately, he is one of those that seems to hide everything behind the paywall which I understand, but I have a way of getting around that, and that is by looking on his Instagram, where we can see most of his sculpts. It'd be great of you to go and follow this guy on all his platforms, and let him know that I sent you. Probably doesn't mean anything, but have a look at this guy's artwork. The artwork that he creates is incredibly detailed, amazing work. I think that you get something like this on his Patreon, possibly a full sculpt, maybe a bust, I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely worth the value. This guy's work is incredibly detailed and absolutely insane. From what it looks like, it looks like this was probably the package from one of the months. It looks like they're pre-supported as well. So for those of you who are still struggling with supports, this is probably a good option for you. And someone else who was mentioned in the comments in the last video was Eastman. Unfortunately, again, we don't get to see very much. However, we're able to look at the type of work by looking at his starter pack. And this is Eastman's starter pack as of October 2021. I'm not gonna lie, this is a massive starter pack. This is obviously his welcome package for when you join the Patreon, you receive all of these sculpts. This is what I'm assuming, but just scrolling through, I'm almost speechless at the amount and the quality of work that we have got on this guy's Patreon. And there is a couple which stood out to me, which I'd definitely be looking at maybe getting in the future. And that is these two specifically, Rogue and Gambit. Those busts would be awesome in my collection. Absolutely great work from this guy. I think this is one that you should definitely have a look at. It's very much definitely worth your while. Another one that I need to talk about, if you can hear me over the helicopter of my computer that is trying to take off my table, because for some reason it feels like it needs to cool itself down even though we're in the middle of winter and there is no need for that. However, that aside, let's look at 3DXM. They mostly focus around the chibis in my opinion. However, they do produce a standard sculpt and a chibi sculpt. I think this is part of your monthly rewards. You get one of both, perhaps two of both. I'm not really sure, don't quote me on any of that. This looks like their chibis package, which is, I think if you like chibis, this is a really great package. There's a lot of really cool models in here. Um, a lot of these would be really cool as uh, normal sculpts as well, but an incredible welcome package for joining the Patreon. I have printed and painted a statue from 3DXM. This is the one that I did, this is the Black Cat. I think that it came out the printer extremely well. It painted up really well. The keys and fit was pretty good. It's a definitely a great option if you're thinking about these kind of models. And of course, I recently painted Blade. That video is just a few videos back. If you had a look at that video, you can see that the quality of the sculpt for this blade is incredibly great. This came from Prey Collection Studios. As you can tell already, Prey does a couple of models per month. And what they do is they give it to you in 1 10th, 1 24th and 32 millimeter scale. These are all pre-supported as well. I did print Blade as a pre-supported file. Normally I wouldn't do that, but I was running out of time at the time that I printed him. And so I used the pre-supported files and I got a great result. You can as well. This is an idea of a general monthly release. You get a couple of models, which is great. And like I said, if you wanted to print them in miniature size, or slightly larger than miniature or one tenth you can do that i feel like you could even blow these up a little bit bigger um they're obviously not sculpted to be much bigger but i think the details would still translate even if you had to print them at say one six or even one eight scale and if you've been keeping up with the videos that i've made in the past you would have known that i've made three videos based around the gins from gin wars those were sculpted by td saber td saber is an amazing sculptor and I think you should have a look at him and just go and give him a follow on Instagram. His artwork is incredibly great. So much attention to detail. Even if he does make me have to print the largest bloody bases I've ever printed in my life. But I still think that his artwork is incredible. His sculpts are amazing. And he's definitely someone to have a look at for his artworks. 
and I hope that that gave you some insight into a couple more sculptors and patrons you can have a look at in the future. If there is anyone you think that I've missed, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to have a look at them and perhaps mention them in a future video as well. Also, now would be a good time for me to mention I too have a Patreon. Unfortunately, we don't offer a sculpt just yet, but we do offer access to Discord, where there are a community of people who help each other through all their paint projects and work together to make sure that they get the best results possible. Our community is extremely friendly and very inviting. If you'd like to be part of this community, make sure to check the link below and join the Patreon. Your support also helps the channel grow and helps keep the lights on, which you can see illuminating my face. And as usual, if you like the video, give it a like. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content in the future, why don't you consider subscribing? At the same time, when we get to this part of the video, there's only one thing that we have left to say. And that is, just click dislike and f*** off. Yes, that is the sweary man saying the sweary words.